part of my experience in medical school is I had a chance to go to England uh, in uh, September summer. And what was unique is I was, uh, although I was following an internal medicine physician who was a diabetologist, this particular specialist uh, put dilating drops into patients. So there was very much uh, an attention paid to the ophthalmic component to his diabetic care. So that was kind of an initial uh, draw to it. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the visual system that's so open to examination. The whole point of the eye is to let light in uh, and allows us to kind of uh, see in the other direction to really help people directly and see what's going on. I am what you would call a comprehensive ophthalmologist, uh, an ophthalmologist that um, is kind of a generalist and able to treat various different um, things. It's kind of in all different capacities. Also cataract surgery primarily is a surgery, but um, there are other surgeries, laser surgeries that are um, part of my care and minor surgeries in terms of uh, facial cosmetic. Working at the Cleveland Clinic, um, you are in a place where you're called upon to uh, treat all sorts of people who have very significant disease burden and then also people that perhaps just need a pair of glasses. And so there's a certain amount of fulfillment of being able to kind of juggle those needs and figure out what it is that you need to do for that particular patient to meet their needs and, and take good care of them. I'm pretty passionate about gardening. I uh, love to travel, love to read. Um, a good portion of my past couple decades of my life was being a, an active father and husband, uh, which has been a pretty fulfilling um, part of who I am. Uh, and they're finally like empty nested and have left, so there's opened up uh, some opportunities for more of the other things in life, uh, travel and books and whatnot. That's been a great thing for my myself and my wife.